Students at one local college get a rude awakening this weekend. Their school is shutting down. Graduation canceled. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 5.30 on this Sunday night. I'm Poor Harlan. This was a surprise for a lot of students at Heald College in Northeast Portland. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling has heard from students and families who have been affected by this surprise closure. She takes us beyond the headlines tonight to tell their stories. Jennifer? Students and parents told us that they got the message that this school was closing through email, an email that sent many students into a panic about their future and graduation. Now, our cameras captured some employees that were appearing to be packing up and getting ready to leave today here at Heald College. Tracy Stewart said she's taken classes with Heald since 2010, and she earned her associate's degree in medical billing and coding and continued her education here with the hopes of becoming a pharmacy tech. Now, just shy of completing the 12 month program, she says word came this weekend that the college is closing. We also spoke to, spoke to the mother of a different student who wants answers. It's kind of flooring when one day you're a student at somewhere and the next day or you know over a two-day period of a weekend your whole world flips upside down. Just frustration and nervous about you know what to expect from today on if I'm going to be able to finish. Because so, I've put so much work into it and studied so hard, and I would hate to lose it now when I'm so close. The Pharmacy Technology Program Director sent this message to students, saying, I am sad to say that as of today, the campus has been shut down permanently. Hopefully, of all of your questions will be able to be answered next week during your meetings about transfers and so forth. Graduation for this Friday, the 1st of May, is also canceled. The Associated Press reports that Corinthian College is shutting down all of its remaining 28 ground campuses, displacing about 16,000 students nationwide. Now, the CEO of Corinthian posted a statement on its website saying, that they were trying to sell the schools. However, they blamed the current regulatory environment for the sale falling through. And we'll put that full statement on our website at coin.com. Reporting live in Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News. All right, Jen